All right, what's up, niggas? Y'all, today is basically the video of spirituality versus religion, and I'm gonna be explaining the difference between the two. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Bro. Two fishes one fish within a bowl, and one fish within the ocean. One fish trapped, and the other one free. Now, the fishes are symbolic to people, and the fish bowl is symbolic to a prison or being trapped. The fish located with inside of that bowl can only go so far as the bowl allows it to go which we see is not that very far which is not that big first is the fish within the ocean you know how big the ocean is the fish within the ocean can move so much further than the one located within the bowl now the bowl is symbolic the bowl is symbolic to the religious books we're talking about the bible the quran etc the same way that fish can only move so far within a singular confinement of the bowl and it's trapped within the bowl it's the same way people can only move religious people can only move within a singular confinement of their book and they're trapped within a singular book whether it be the bible the quran or the mother like a dog nigga you feel me? First is the fish on the outside is just free. Now I'm gonna give y'all niggas an example of how the shit is keeping y'all mentally enslaved. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Now that sounds sweet, that sounds nice. But in actuality, this shit is basically just telling you, believe whatever the books say and do not think for your own self. This is what this shit just said. Believe whatever the book says and do not think for your own self. Mm, nah, nigga, that's that's what I see, nigga. That's what the shit basically just fucking said. So you are the fish within the bowl. And the bowl is the book. You are the human within the book. And you are trapped mentally and psychologically and spiritually by a single motherfucking book nigga right so when y'all read verses like this as we clearly can see you know what the book said it said do not think for yourself so when you read verses like this for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life you don't really think too much of it this shit sound nice but this shit is basically human sacrifice God condoning human sacrifice right here. I expose this in my lecture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Nigga, he, it's not his only begotten son. Dumbass. Israel is my son. Fucking, look, read this shit, bro. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus say the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Nigga, God calls multiple people his motherfucking son, his begotten son throughout the Bible. It only means one or solely. So I just expose how the shit is retarded. Another thing I would like to add is the difference is religion. You living your whole life for another motherfucker. You living your whole life to please somebody else. You living your whole life to please Jesus, to try to build a connection with him. First, spirituality, you living for yourself. You're trying to build a connection with yourself. You feel me? You're trying to grow closer to yourself. First, is religion is the other way around. You feel me? So that that's really the differences I really can name y'all niggas, bro. Them all the differences I really can name y'all, bro. If y'all if y'all spot any more differences, then comment the shit down below. But that's really it, bro. You feel me?